In our previous series of videos, we've taken deep dive looks into methods in the Java programming language. In this video, we're going to explore static methods and the static keyword, and we're going to describe how to fix non-static variable cannot be referenced from a static context. First of all, what is static? Static means that you can invoke a method without referencing an object. So a few examples, a few slides ago, I had some examples of method call. First, making a method call without specifying anything. Next, making a method call with specifying a variable name so that we act on the object that's stored in that variable. And finally, invoking a method call without an object, but instead just with a class type. This is what we're talking about when we're talking about a static method. We can invoke it on a class and it impacts all objects the same way. The reason being a static method is simply based at the class level, not at an individual object level. So when you invoke a static method, you're invoking it on the class, not on a specific object. Now, there are some important considerations with static methods. Static methods cannot impact the state of an independent object. And we know that the state of an object is represented by its attributes. We modeled this in a, in a UML diagram and a class diagram a couple videos ago. We know that a vehicle can be described by its miles per gallon, odometer, and gallons of gas. You cannot have a static method operate on these because these variables are specific to every single object of type vehicle. So in other words, you cannot have a static method that changes the odometer of just one vehicle. If you were to try to do that, you would receive an error message that is frequently very confusing, and that is non-static variable cannot be referenced from a static context. So in other words, you have a static method, and it's trying to operate on a non-static variable. More on that as we continue through this example. Now, does that mean that static methods can't use variables? No, that's not true. Static, static methods can use variables or attributes, but the variables or attributes must also be static. In other words, the value of that variable counts the same for every single object. If you change it for one, you change it for all. A good example of that is the license plate fee, since we're keeping with the vehicle analogy. The last time the state of Ohio raised the license plate fee, it affected all drivers and all vehicles within the state of Ohio. The next time you went to renew, you paid $5 more. So it wasn't a vehicle by vehicle thing, it was every vehicle in Ohio has a different license plate fee. Uh, license plate fee. Let's try to model this, and while we're modeling it, we're trying to get a, a bit more context around this issue. Non-static variable cannot be referenced from static context. So in my vehicle class, I'm going to say private static double and then license plate fee. Note that static keyword. That means that whatever value is in license plate fee is going to be the same value for all objects that we create of class vehicle. So let me right click and I'm going to say refactor and we will say, uh, whoops, just a moment, encapsulate fields. And the only one that's not encapsulated is this license plate fee. So I choose refactor. And after a bit of scrolling, uh, take a look and notice that we have a couple of methods. We have public static double get license plate fee and public static void set license plate fee. Again, notice the keyword static. Let's go back to driver now. And in driver, uh, we are going to set the license plate fee on your vehicle. So I say your vehicle dot set license plate fee and we'll pass in 15.0. Now, first of all, notice that we get a warning here. It says accessing static method license plate fee, set license plate fee. It notices that we're accessing it and we're referencing an object here and it's telling us, you know, you don't need to do that. As a matter of fact, you could just reference it directly on the class called vehicle because it impacts all vehicles. As a matter of fact, what happens if I if I take this, let's say I set it up above, vehicle.setLicensePlateFee, then down here I say your vehicle dot fee, and let's change that to 20.0. And just kind of playing around here, let's go down to my vehicle. Let's see, where's my vehicle? We'll go down to uh, my vehicle somewhere around here. We'll say my vehicle dot fee. 
and this time I'll say 30. Now what we're going to see is no matter how I call this method, if I call it on the class itself, as we have at the very top at line 34, so I'll move a breakpoint there, if I call it on your vehicle or if I call it on my vehicle, it's going to have the same impact because it is static. So let's debug and see what happens. First of all, we have prompt user. We step into there. We create my vehicle. We create your vehicle. Now, notice that we have a new thing in the debugger here, which is this little kind of home plate, which has the, key, which has the word static. That says all of the static variables or all of the class level variables that are not object level variables live here. Now you'll see there's a static uh, little kind of notation under my vehicle. There's also one under your vehicle. Both of them have this license plate fee and it has kind of a special bar indicating it's a special type of vehicle. So watch what happens now. Do you see license plate fee is zero under my vehicle and under your vehicle? Because really these are not two different variables, it's the same variable. So watch that number zero right now is I execute line 34 and you see both of them change to 15. We go through and we set values on your vehicle, and then we set the license plate fee referring to the your vehicle variable, we set it at 20. So question for you, when I choose F8 and this line executes, is only the your vehicle going to update to 20, or is the my vehicle going to update to 20 as well? Let's find out. They both update to 20 because once again, they are sharing the same variable and the variable is defined at the class level. We continue on through a little bit. We get our J option pane. We know a little trick for that. We have to just come over here and hit, uh, enter 10. And uh, then we continue with our example here. Uh, miles per gallon, we'll say 10. And odometer, we'll say 10,000. And now notice on my vehicle, we're invoking set license plate fee again. And once again, the question, is it going to impact only the value under my vehicle, or is it going to impact the value under your vehicle as well? And you probably could guess it impacts both. They both update to 30 simultaneously. As opposed to the odometer, the miles per gallon, and the gallon of gas, which are separate variables for each object. So static essentially means it is one variable per class that's shared across all objects. Uh, that's what a static variable is. And a static variable can be operated on by static methods. Now, let's take a look at something else. I'll go ahead and let this continue, enter a dis distance to travel 100. Let me go back to vehicle now. And now that we have an understanding of what a static method is, what if I tried to do something in the static method, set license plate fee, and I tried to impact a variable which is set at the object level, in other words, a non-static variable. What if I tried to set odometer equal to zero? Well, that's not going to work. And when I mouse over, what do we get? Non-static variable odometer cannot be referenced from a static context. In other words, exactly the, uh, the error code that I had up on this PowerPoint slide, non-static vehicle variable cannot be referenced from a static context. So that means that we have a static method and we're trying to access a non-static variable, which we're not allowed to do. To fix this, I need to do one of two things. I need to make the variable static, but I will caution you that's probably not the right approach because I have taken care of the red line now. You see the red line has gone away, but now I'm sharing only one instance of the odometer variable across all vehicle objects. In other words, every vehicle now has the same odometer and that's not what I want to do. More than likely what you want to do in this case is you want to take a look at the method and determine if the method necessarily needs to be static or not. Uh, so if I take away the static keyword from the method, you see that it is now able to access uh, the non-static attribute odometer. Incidentally, a non-static method, which again is the default, if you don't see a word in there that says static, then it is non-static. A non-static method can operate on, on both static and non-static attribute types. A static method can only operate on static attribute types. So to fix that issue, take a look at your method. If it is static and it is referring to a non-static variable or a non-static attribute, uh, ask yourself, should the attribute be static? In other words, should the attribute be one for every object under that class? 
or should the method be non-static? So in this video, we've explored the static keyword, which means it is a class-based method or variable as opposed to an object-based method or variable. And we've looked at how to fix non-static variable cannot be referenced from a static context. Take a look at the other videos where I talk about what a class is, what a constructor is, and also method overloading. I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you.